Welcome to lab 4 of our FPGA VHDL lecture series. So today in our lab we are going to first time learn something about a process in VHDL. So the aim of today's lab So the aim of today's lab is to learn about process and if-else statement in VHDL. How can we implement a process and also the conditional if-else statement using VHDL. So st to start we click on our ISA design suit this opens our project navigator window then as usual we go to file create a new project let us call it if else if underscore else then we click the next and the finish button on doing so we get our FPGA XAS 100E minus 5 CP 132 and our project if else now we go to our project and add a new source by right clicking on if else let us call this source as if else as well same as our project name first of all we must select VHDL module and type in the name if else click on next click on next again and finish here we get our standard library already included with a lot of comments one important thing to notice whenever we add two hyphens in front of any statement that becomes a comment in VHDL two hyphens and it becomes a comment so today in this lab our aim is to include a process and if else statement a conditional if else statement so to achieve this let us think of a simple application wherein we have four inputs namely A, B, C and D we have three select lines select line 0, select line 1 and select line 2 also we have just one output Y coming out of the system so the logic is whenever select line 0 is kept high we assume that the output should be the same as the input A when select line 1 is high output should be B when select line 2 is high the output must be C when none of the select lines are high we want the output to be D so let us first declare our inputs and outputs in our entity as usual we start with the keyword port followed with a round bracket then capital A colon in signifying input of the type standard logic B of the type input and standard logic C 
see being the same also D of the same type since last time we saw standard logic vector I am going to use select line as a input but of the type standard logic vector to down to zero so here 2 down to 0 means that we have 3 lines in our bus named as SEL or SELECT. So 2 down to 0 signifies SELECT 0, SELECT 1 and SELECT 2. We have just one output coming out of our system that is Y. Of the type standard logic. we end our port definition then inside the begin of architecture now we have to start with a special keyword called process it turned blue signifying that this is a keyword followed by opening and closing round brackets so these round brackets include the sensitivity list for the process that is when the process must be called or at what instant at what change must the process be called so in our case the sensitivity list must be called when any of the input parameters change So, I specify all the input parameters inside the parenthesis for the process. Parenthesis is nothing but round brackets. So, we begin our process by writing the keyword begin again. After writing begin, we start with the syntax of our if else statement. So, if else statement starts with obviously the keyword if space the condition. This condition can either be written inside parentheses or outside it. It doesn't matter. The compiler interprets it in the same way. So, we write if followed by our condition which is select 0 equal to 1 so we know that in the first condition when select 0 is 1 the output y must be same as the input a so we write that condition that when select 0 line is equal to 1 in single quotes signifies a high in VHDL a digital high after writing this we write the keyword then if this condition is true then so we can see that the keyword then turned blue followed by the set of instructions which we want to execute if the condition is true in this case we want to assign the output y the value of input a if the condition is true but what if it is false so we want if the condition is false what else can be done so we need to check for another condition so to do that the if can be followed with an else or an a else if 
else if gives us the provision to check for another condition whereas else gives doesn't give us the chance to check for another condition instead it is the condition being false here we use the else if keyword followed by our second condition that is select line 1 equal to 1 again we follow it up with the keyword then so we know when select line 1 is 1 we want the output to be equal to b the bit b from the input but this is not the last case so again we write else if note that the spelling of else if is e l s i f select line 2 is equal to 1 then we want the output y to be equal to the input c now we have covered all the cases except for the case when select lines 0 1 2 all are zeros that is it is neither one select line 0 is not 1 1 is not 1 2 is not 1 so here before ending we write an else statement simply writing an else signifies that all the above conditions were false that is all the three select lines were low in our case else in any other case we want our output to be d now this finishes our if statement but before ending our if statement we must physically type in the keywords end if semicolon to actually notify to the compiler that the if statement has finished syntactically also while writing the instructions we write the instruction followed with a semicolon which signifies the end of instruction so if select line 0 was 1 the first condition will be true output y will be assigned the value of input a and semicolon will be executed or we will just simply get out of the process get out of the statement then as we know every begin must end so we end our process followed with a semicolon and then we end our behavioral now we first save our project and synthesize and check for the hardware created by this to check for this we wait for the synthesis to happen a green tick near the synthesize keyword suggests that our synthesis was successful and hardware could be made out of it we check the RTL schematic to see for the hardware that has been created here as we can see we have ABCD as our inputs select line also as our input and Y is the only output from our system if we double click on this block we get the gate level representation of our block the various AND gates OR gates used as comparators here we can see three different stages of comparisons so thus we have successfully learned how to implement process and if else statement in VHDL that's it for lab 4 in lab 5 we will learn some more techniques in VHDL